lift our banner. keep playing worship team amen uh, earlier amen we took this opportunity right in this very space to begin to dethrone all false kings in our life we began to serve eviction notice to every false king that exalted himself in our life and so we just want to take the next 15 to 20 seconds to begin to serve eviction notices to any and every false king any and every false idea anything that exalts itself against the knowledge of God in our lives we want to just serve eviction notices all false kings have to be out by the time we count to three, all false kings have to be out. Anything, any pretense, any idea, any word of negativity, any thought, any letter, any closing statement, any ridicule, any lie, any false pressure, anything that draws up anxiety, Anything that talks us out of our destiny. Anything that causes fear over faith. Those false kings, those temporary kings have to go. There's only one king that lives forever. Only one king. Only one king. Can you just look at somebody and tell them there's only one king. There's, there's only one king. There's only one king. 
As the worship team gets ready to go into the next song, I'm reminded of this issue that happened in Scripture. Where, where there, there was these, all of these kings, and there was a king named Herod. How many of you guys know, remember King Herod? And so there was, there was some stuff going on in kingdoms, and Jesus was getting ready to be born. And there was something that, 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 that uh, kings regardless of who put them in place, it's something that kings really understand. There was this decree that was made that, that was set out that every baby had to be taken care of. That, that Jesus was, 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 was actually being pursued by this king. And, and Jesus was being pursued so heavily by this king to the point of death because this king understood one thing. This king understood that there could only be one king on the throne at one time. So, so as I read the narrative, as I was looking at the story, I, I was like, why is there so much energy and why is there so much time and effort being put into pursuing this baby? It was because the king understood that in kingdoms there can only be one king. Who, who, who or what may have been sitting higher than the king of kings in our life? Temporary kings that needed to be dethroned. I'm just grateful to God. Just grateful to God. One king. One king. One king. One king. Hallelujah. Come on, worship team, if you walk us into our second song. One king. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah, hallelujah this morning. I'm convinced and I believe that we are in a place that we are in a season where there are some that are actually believing and actually expecting your spirit to break out, oh God, for heaven to come down and invade earth, oh God, Lord, through sons and daughters, through brothers and sisters, oh God. I'm convinced, oh God, that there are a few, Lord, that will be excited when your spirit breaks out, oh God. Oh, we're just grateful to be here, oh God, in your midst. We're grateful, oh God, Lord, to begin to declare these words into the atmosphere, oh God. Believing, oh God, that this our prayer, this our worship, oh God, Lord, is hitting and reaching your ear, oh God, Lord, and you'll hear our cry, that your response will be to pour out your spirit, oh God. Lord, upon this city, oh God, Lord, upon this generation, oh God, Lord, upon these cultures, oh God, Lord, upon the climate, Heavenly Father, Lord, upon the nation, oh God, Lord, upon the government, Heavenly Father, Lord, in the slums, oh God, in the higher class areas, oh God, Lord, upon your citizens, oh God, Lord, in your hospital rooms, oh God, Lord, on beds of affliction, oh God, upon those wrestling with addiction, oh God, Lord, those with mental illness today, oh God, Lord, we're believing that your spirit is falling oh God Lord and we will not be satisfied oh God until you're here mm. we thank you oh God that heaven come down and invade our conversations let your glory come and invade our relationships oh God let your glory come and invade our comfort levels oh God Lord let your glory come and lead us into deep, deep places in you. We just thank you today. We just thank you today. I sense that there might even be a spirit of trepidation today that someone is, is maybe a little nervous today asking themselves in their heart what will happen <laughs> what will it look like if spirit breaks out what may it cost me to do if the spirit breaks out how will people look at me and what, if your spirit breaks out what, <laughs> we lay your fear at his feet today that even frightened and doesn't stop. He promised his spirit. Mm. The sound of heaven touching her. <laughs> what if the sound of heaven touching earth is the same exact sound that your feet and your sneakers make when it walks into a situation. Hear, hear me. What if the sound of having touch an earth is the same exact sound that your feet make when you walk into unhealthy situations? When you walk into dilapidated places and you walk into brokenness and when you actually begin to carry light into dark places, what if that's the same exact sound as heaven touching earth? I'm going to leave that, that question there for your heart. Leave that question there for your heart. We're just glad to be together today glad that serve a true and living God that we can call upon and cry out to for more more of his spirit that he might fall that we might carry light and hope and glory into situations that need it that need him just one more line if you might sister Caleb spirit Please. 
praise. This is our cry. that you are actually believing or being broken. just sense an atmosphere that this can quickly turn into <laughs> that revival that we're calling for. What, what would happen? <laughs> I'm telling you, some people would be absolutely spooked if he actually did what we're asking him for. For a revival to break out right now, for his spirit to break out right now, it would absolutely scare somebody. But I'm just believing that we serve a God that hears us a true and a living God and so as we're worshiping we might be mindful of those words that we are rendering unto him revival were to break out right here right now amen we, we want to honor our time but can I just be honest can I be transparent this is a struggle for me this is a struggle for me. This is a struggle for me. I, I believe in, in obedience. I believe that there are certain things that grow in certain environments. And when the environment and atmosphere is, is set, this is a struggle. My mom is just smiling at me, but I'm struggling. I'm, I'm trying to keep with the flow of service, but I'm struggling. I'm struggling. I'm struggling. I'm struggling. I'm struggling, I'm struggling, I'm struggling. Don't laugh, Sister Courtney, I'm struggling. I'm struggling. I, I, I'm just uh, of a place of faith that maybe two more lines, two more verses, two more words, and it'll happen. And so I'm trying to behave myself for the sake of time. I'm trying, amen. But I, I fight because I just desire desperately that his spirit does break out, that heaven touches earth, that revival happens. I'm just desperate for those things. But I'm very mindful to love people and to honor time and space. But my goodness, I believe that I serve a God that really sits high and he really hears when we begin to cry and our hearts are really postured and we're really asking for this and a nation really needs it and a city really needs it and a culture really needs it and a daughter really needs it and a son really needs it and three churches really need it I'm really believing that he'll actually do it and so I'm trying to behave myself but something happens in the presence of God that is different than in the presence of man something happens when a spirit breaks out that I simply don't understand hearts are changed minds are changed lives are flipped upside down Scripture said in the book of Acts, these are the ones that turned the world upside down. Father, please honor this, 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 this space. Please honor my desire to just be mindful of time, to be mindful of, of schedules, oh God, Lord, but I just want your spirit to break out. We just need you. 
We need to hear from you, oh God. We need to encounter you. We need to not do church as we used to, oh God. Just, just let me hear, oh God, Lord, clearly from you. Clearly from you. Be so mindful. We're going to behave. We're going to behave. Worship team, we're going to. We're going to behave. We're going to. Can I just submit that to you as we go forward as three churches that that's a struggle for me. I, I just I just want to make it really plain that Pastor Trey knows this is a struggle for me. It's a struggle. It's a struggle. I'm, I'm laying it before you. Pray with me and pray for me. But when I start to just sense and hear and and knowing that he wants to break, but man, there is a powerful word today. There's a powerful word from the Lord. Amen. Can, can, can I ask you this up front? Amen. I, I'm, I'm looking, for those who don't know, there's a clock right here. And I, and I pay attention to that clock because time, it, it does matter to us. It doesn't matter to the Father, but it matters to us. And there's a clock right here. And so we, we truly did start worship at about 11.13. But I'm going to, to make a request right now to those who, who are able, to those who have space, that we're going to get into our announcements and I'm going to, to pray um, and then just invite his spirit, to, his spirit to stay here. He's already here. I just want to invite him and welcome him to stay here and, and then release Pastor Trey into what the Lord has for him. But can I just ask us a favor up front that you hear this message out, that you hear the word out that the Father has to speak through his son today. It may take us to about 12, 12, 20, 12, 30. Is that, is that okay? If you've got to leave, we want to give you permission up front. We want to give you permission up front. But there's a word. There is a word from the Lord. At 945, I, I was just sitting here weeping and I could barely contain myself because of the truth that was just being brought forth. And so this is an amazing season. We're in an amazing space. I'm going to give you these quick announcements and then we're going to to invite Pastor Trey up here. And I just ask that you please continue to, to pray for me because this is a struggle for me. Please just continue to pray for me. It's a struggle for me. I, I'm telling you, uh, this is a struggle. This is a struggle. This is a struggle. I'm excited, amen. Maybe we'll go to like six services or something so we can. Yeah, just six services, just. Yeah, amen. Don't tempt me with a good time. Amen.